Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a few new projects in NetBeans and then um, to save them into a zipped folder. So first of all, we're going to go to File Explorer, you know, the little yellow square at the bottom of if you've made a shortcut for it. Um, then I'm going to, so I'm in File Explorer. I'm going to go to my D drive and then I'm going to create a new folder. This is especially for this test that I'm writing, so I'm calling it my test. Okay, so there's a new folder that's empty. And every new project that I'm creating for this test today, I'm going to save it in the my test folder. So I'm going to click on the new project block there. I choose Java with and Java application, click next, and I'm going to call it question one, or whatever I've been told to call it in my test. Then over here, I click Browse. And I want to make sure that I'm going to save everything in this D drive slash my test folder. So it's showing D drive there. Otherwise, I'll navigate to it. And then I choose my test and I click Open. And you can see it's telling me project location D drive backslash my test. That's exactly where I want it to be. I click Finish. And I'm going to program my question and then I'll start my next question. Again, Java with Ant, Java with application, next, and I'm going to call it um, question two. And again, same project location, D drive backslash my test. I click finish. And you can carry on like this, however many questions you have to do. Let's go back to my test, D drive my test. I'm going to double click here. And there are my two questions. You can see if you double click there, you go to SRC stands for source, double click there, double click on question one. There's your question one dot Java. It's actually just a text file. And it looks exactly the same as it does in the NetBeans IDE. Anyway, what we need to do now is we've got both of our projects, all the well, everything that belongs to these two projects is sitting in the my test folder. So I my test is what I want to send to my teacher as one big file, but I can't because at the moment it's a folder and you cannot upload a folder. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to make a zipped file out of this folder. So I need to right click and then click send to and then on the little menu that comes up, I'm going to click on compressed zipped folder. So let's click on that. And it's suggesting a name for it. You could call it mytest.zip or you could call it your name. Um, whatever has been requested. Say your teachers asked you to call it with your initials. Um, VMF um, test. Uh, test 1, 2021, or whatever she's asked. You click enter, and this is your zipped, it's a file. Actually, you can see it's only 35 kilobytes big, and this is the file that you are going to send to your teacher in when she asks you to send her whatever your answers are for your test. 